Well, I thought it was time to finally upgrade my coffee scoops. So I picked out some nice African blackwood and purple heart. I cut them down to size on my bandsaw before I mounted them between centers. And like it says on the screen, total project time was about an hour and a half. And that's, you know, drinking coffee along the way. And I use real-time clips in this whole video. There's nothing sped up. Pretty easy project. I thought it was important to show that I don't just do poles. I actually do a lot of other things, but... I don't often do uh, work with my skew. Which might be obvious. I think I had my lathe spinning at about 1900 RPMs for this. Got some beautiful shavings off of this with that little spindle gouge. And they'll all be bagged up and used in a future project. I get a lot of questions about uh, what people call the waste, you know, the shavings coming off of these projects that I do. I've got you know, bags and bags of different shavings labeled just waiting for other projects. And this will be new to the assortment. Yellow heart, red heart, purple heart, paduk, cedar, maple, walnut. Just a beautiful assortment of very nice shavings. Something I also save is the really fine powder of various colors. I save all that stuff in plastic containers. I'll use it for uh, inlay projects uh, for the borders. There's value in pretty much all of this wood, whether it's cut off or part of the project itself.
I really enjoyed this project. Just little fine details. I mean, they're basic shapes. Just basic handles with, you know, knobs on either end. I just took my time and really had a good time doing it. Now while I eased off and did a really basic small project, let's take a look at what some of you guys have been doing. Zach Wirt with Connor and Braden made these beautiful bowls. Nice. So Andrew Butler designed this steady rest and then made this beautiful piece. So nice. Semper Fi Marine. And last but not least, Rene Perez. What a gorgeous, gorgeous job on this resin inlay. Just beautiful. Outstanding Marine. Semper Fi. And here you can see I've uh, mounted the Purple Heart into the uh, chuck jaws and I'm drilling the hole first this time which is what I should have done on the other one just makes life a little bit easier uh, at the end of the project and I do want to give a shout out to all my subscribers I sure appreciate you 68,000 and growing So just to keep things interesting for the video, uh, I switched up and went with a 5 8 inch bowl gouge for the purple heart handle here. You guys know I love my bowl gouges. Just can't help myself. It also does show though that if you have a limited set of tools you can still use them. Just because it's a bowl gouge doesn't mean that you have to only use it on bowls. Same with the spindle gouge. Or any other tool in your in your toolbox. Don't let the name of the tool limit its use. So once I got it into the shape I wanted it, I sanded it up to 500 grit, and I'm just using OB Shine Juice. Oh, and there's a little little trick for you, uh, just for between center holding. Uh, that's a wine bottle cork.
I just kind of stuck it onto the end of that spur center and uh, works great. It's a little wobbly, but that's my fault. African blackwood. So beautiful. Look at that. In here I'm just using 5 minute epoxy. Uh, I think the brown was locked tight. Uh, just to permanently secure the coffee scoop into the handle. Okay, put your hands in the air if coffee is a food group for you. Both my hands are up, just so you know. Okay, put them down. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. A shameless plug, perhaps. But I do have some merch now. Thanks for watching. Semper Fi. Thanks, Billy. Thanks for the sticker, Jen. I'll get one right back to you.